Welcome to the channel. It is day seven of Dogtober. I'm getting ready to go into the shop and we're going to run a few files. I'm not going to film all that. We're going to put a few files on. Uh, I'm going to print some dogs. See how I do with that. And while we're waiting on the netting for the new uh, chicken yard. But first, let's, let's, let's talk to a certain guy. Well, who's this? And who's feeling better today? Why, it's Mr. Waldo. You can't keep a good Waldo down, can you? Tell the people hi, because they're all worried and been praying for you. He's still not 100%, but he is so much better than yesterday. He's been out here all morning. He's up. Yeah, he ate his milk bone. He ate his hot dogs and medicine. Didn't you? I, I know you want to bark. But you don't have to. I don't want you barking yet, okay? They know you're feeling better. Yeah, but you're still not breathing 100%, but you're breathing better. All right, let's, let's let you rest. You stay out here where the air is good and clean now. Yeah, and, and that sun's good for you. It's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what I can load in here, and I'll show you once I get it on the computer. I got to get in there and turn everything on. Okay, let's start turning everything on. Let's get some light. Well, let's just open these up. I'll get that in a second. I gotta have two hands. Uh, let's turn this one on. Let's turn this one on. Some of them, they all have different procedures to turn them on. I think I just got to hold that one in. That one's on. Come over here. Turn this one on. That's at 33%. That should last a day. If not, I zip it right over here in an hour. That will charge. Turn the old Veto Man on. And now we got power. Turn this on. Turn. Well, what do we don't have on? Something. Uh, turn this computer on. Okay. Now I'm going to get in, access my email. We'll set up a file here. We'll probably set up a file. Maybe we'll set it up on the new one. Well, what you doing, baby girl? Are you feeling better today? Is your legs feeling better? Yeah, you're just gonna rest, huh? You and Tilly play too hard. That's the problem. You're running all over, and you're getting up there. You're six. You might even be seven. So you just got to take it easy, okay? All right, I'll let you rest. She's a good girl. All right, we got one uh, of Lucy printing on cardboard to test it out. We'll see what that looks like when it's done. All right, now, this computer is aggravating. It's so slow, it won't let me load anything. So, I didn't really find anything on this to see if it's upgradable or not. But I've got extra memory. And let's see if I can upgrade it. Uh, I don't know. RAM. So this needs to come out. Let me work on. Let me go in the house and get the upgrade for it. I see there's no. There's supposed to be another slot, and there's not. Well, let's see what we can do. See if I can upgrade that one. I don't know. Well, unfortunately, that is the only slot for the RAM. That is 16 gigabytes, and I ordered 32. But it comes in two 16 gigabyte cards, so I can't even upgrade this. Never again will I buy a cheap computer. Never again. So now this is pretty worthless. Uh, what I'll probably do is go see uh, what programs are running on this when you uh, at startup and eliminate anything that's running that doesn't need to be running. See if that'll help, but pretty pathetic. And this thing's only barely over a year old. All right. 
Well, I guess I'll have to go get another one of them little ones because that does the job. All right, here's this one. Little dark. That's why I do it on. Yeah, I had this. Ooh, I had the burn settings way too high, way too dark. And I can't get this computer. This computer, I've. If you go into your startup on computer and you got that one drive, always turn that crap off because that that takes up so much resources. Let me see if I can do this now. I am not, and I never could get this light burn to work good on this computer. And all we're trying to do is import. Go down and get Waldo. There he is. And I just want to trace it. And it's just so slow. This should already be done. So I can already tell you it's it's a little quicker. Now I gotta pull this off that image to get the trace, but when I do that, nothing. It, it not responding. It's aggravating. I've even tried to make this picture really tiny. It doesn't matter. So it ain't in the cards today. This computer, not going to work. I think I'll dig that desktop over here later. See if that's got to be any better, but I don't think so. I may have to build another one out of parts. Or just go get another one of them little ones. That little one works fine over there. But I want to run this laser with that picture. I got his permission. He said I could. All right. I, it had something to do with the image because it did the same thing. I tried it over on that computer. Did the exact same thing. So I got to research that, find out why some... Im and, it, and it's happened before. I got to find out why some images do that and some don't. I got no idea. But I'm aggravated. I don't want to deal with this lasers anymore today. So we're going to wait on the chicken netting. Go out and do something else. Uh, this thing's updating, then it's going to shut down, and I'll shut it all down. It ain't the day for lasering. And when I came in, I see where I was hanging those stickies to hang these lights. They fell off. I'm not going to mess with any more of them because they don't work. I get so aggravated with products that are junk today, so I think I'm going to go get some more of these things. That's what, what I hung them with originally. They won't fall out. So... I think I'm just going to get out of this shop. It's beautiful out. need to be outside. Are you coming in or are you going to stay outside all day? You got to rest up for your surgery. Uh, surgery? Major surgery. You're going to have it in, what, three days? Are you ready for that? We got to put the purple and stick on you because you can't go in there for surgery all raggedy. Yeah, but you're not going to have no haircut because you're having your teeth done. Okay. All right, Waddles. Your netting is here. He's been standing there all morning waiting for his netting. He's ready to go into the yard. What do you think, Waddles? You ready? Let me get it out of the box. Let's get it on there. All right. Let's see how good this stuff is. I have, have a feeling. You're all right, Melly. Does everything scare you? stuff's bad this is cheap it's thin as hair thin as freaking hair I ain't putting this out this is pathetic look how thin that is compared to that stuff oh man well, let me dig into that bag. I'm not using that. 
Let me see what we got. All right, well, apparently the dogs got into that netting. Oh, it hit me in the head. I'm not going to get into that. There's, I know there's not enough wide pieces in there, but I do have a backup plan. I have a 20 by 20 shade netting that I use for the garden, and that will work. So we're going to put that on there for now. That stuff's pathetic. What a waste of money. This stuff is so thin. Look at this, man. I got hair sticker in that. There's no way I'm, that wouldn't keep anything out. You live and you learn. All right, let's get that stuff spread. And that boy can get out there and enjoy himself today. My oh, waddles. I ain't kidding you. That stuff's cheap, man. It's cheap. You can use cheap stuff. All right, let's get these pliers. You know what, Waddles? We're going to, uh, well, I don't know about that, but we're going to get you in there a lot quicker with this. So once you go tell your girls, yeah. Oh, Melly. <laughs> okay, let's start here. With these zip ties cost more than that shade netting. I, you never buy the cheap stuff, man. That's two lessons today. Oh, for goodness. Ah, now I can't reclose it. It's going to go, they're going to go stale if I don't use them all. All right, let's start at this end. Let's just start at this end, work our way that away. And this is good. This is what I had over the garden. It's also what I had over the puppy kennel. Or the puppies, when I had the puppies. And there's a big ass hole in it. How is there a hole in it? There was no hole in it before. Well, I got some of that netting. Let's try to patch it. This ain't going well. Where is the end? 20 by 20, so it doesn't matter. Are you coming to help, Tilly? All right, let's just take our end. Throw it over the side. Should leave us four feet to do that. One gone. All right. Well, this ain't going well, but we'll fix it. Should have just used that fence. I mean. All right. Boy, these are some hefty duty straps. Man, that's all right. Right, where's the end of it? 20 by 20. That's all right. Now they'll have some good shade. Not that they need it this time of year, but it's there. And they can still, they'll still be able to see out. No big deal. 20 by 20. All right, we'll go ahead and get the end configured in there. Try it.
Mm. I had to give, come on here and give you guys a warning. It says right here on the package. Warning. Cancer and reproductive harm. You are in the Republic of California. That's right there. Y'all think I'm lying all the time. They vote that crazy stuff in. I ain't kidding you. It's on everything. It's on everything. How do you live in that state? I'm just poking with you guys in California. But it is crazy. But I ain't California. So I shall carry on. You can't do that in Los Angeles, can you? <laughs> okay, I just cut a piece of this off the end where I had a lot of access. So I'm going to take some of these thin, uh, what do I do with them? These thin zip ties and patch this hole. Now, let me answer a question or two. <laughs> you guys see all these homesteaders with that little electric, flexible electric fence. And you ask, why can't I get that? Well, they have domestic chickens. These are not domestic chickens. These are game chickens. These are wild chickens from the jungle. They are born in the jungle. They are jungle birds. Uh, they are game chickens. They are nothing like a domestic chicken. Uh, you know what they use them for. They're show chickens is what we called them. That's what we raised at the ranch. Didn't fight them, but they raised them. Now, if these hens see an opportunity like that, they're gonna fly out. Because their instinct is to get in the trees. That's where they roost, they live in trees. The roosters, you really don't ever have to worry about. They don't usually fly off, but they can. But I've rarely seen that. Waddles, he's happy to just be where he's at. So, that is why you have to do like what I'm doing here. And also, is my microphone even on? It is. People ask, am I going, now that I got more room, am I going to get more chickens? No, I'm not. It is still cheaper for me to buy eggs than it is to feed a bunch of chickens. And I am downsizing on animals, although I want them to live as long as they can. Uh... I would like to go take a trip one day, you know, before I die. And can't do that when you got it. I'm not going to ask people to come feed my animals. Okay, they're not going to do it. I won't, you know, maybe for a day or something, but I just don't like asking people to come take care of my chickens. If I had one dog, two dogs, that'd be something else. But I wouldn't leave my dogs. And anybody that leads this kind of lifestyle you know you you need to have you know if you get chickens you get goats all that you can't be going out of town all the time because nobody wants to <laughs> i don't mind helping people out if they got to go do something but you know you gotta you gotta have a game plan if they're you know here it's just me so i'm not gonna do it now, if you've got more in your family, you can have somebody just takes turns staying behind. That's how you got to do it. Uh, unless you can really find somebody that agrees to all that. Personally, I don't want anybody taking care of my animals. I don't mind them dropping some feed, but, you know, my animals are used to me. I've always been here to feed them. And, you know, if you're going to if you're going to have that lifestyle, well, you went the wrong way with that. If you're going to have that lifestyle, you, you got to have a, their sacrifices to it. That's the way it is, man. All right, we are very close here. We are going to get this stuff on. Get this whole patch. I'm going to go around the perimeter real quick. Uh, I do know it needs work, but I'm not worried about it today. And I'm probably going to have, once I cut the hole through here, make a little little door that I can shut every night just so I don't have to worry about stuff trying to get in here to get in there. But anytime you're making a new pin, you, you know, you really got to think like a chicken or a dog and 
see where they and just when you think you've got it figured out where they're not going to get out they find a way but this is just going to be you know they're going to be out here in the daytime when i'm home and they'll be fine all right i got that hole patched oop i better get one more and put there but for the most part it's all patched uh, and everything looks secure i'm gonna go around it a little bit more then we'll get the bolt cutters and I am just going to cut a hole instead of taking that panel because that's, uh, that's going to be a lot of work if I try to peel that back. It's a lot easier just to cut a hole. Doesn't need to be huge. And then I'll hurt them out here and then we'll see what they do. But it looks pretty secure and then I'll go over this. There's, there's no way they can get out the bottoms unless they're digging. And I'll catch them before that happens. Uh, my get some um, while they're in here I'll go with some rebar and go around this the bottom but pretty much good all right let's do this I had that whole trap covered with peanut butter that rat got in there didn't trip it man I'm gonna get him all right let's do it oh Let's see. Mm, there's an art to this. Not yet, Waddles. I hear you in there squirming. Ah, oh, wrong one. Chain link is not really meant to be uh, cut, but you can. That's some old chain link, man. Now I gotta try to make sure there's no sharp edges for them. of truth soon uh -huh. let me get some pliers that's all good that's all good I just got to go across the top here hopefully they don't come out ah cuz they're sneaky little dudes all right let me go get some pliers guys all right that one already came right up to here and was looking it don't take them long now she's gonna go in there and go use guys use guys come on it's open all right just bend these up a little bit get them out the way chick 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 come on waddles Chick, 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 chick. Come on, girls. They're talking about it, they hear. They're telling each other there's something going on. Chick, 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 chick. Come on. Look what we got here. It's a big old rock right there. Well, and that should be all they need. Let's, uh, let me throw them out. You guys keep an eye on them. I'm going to hurt them out. Do -de -do -de -do -de chicken, do -de chicken, do -de do All right, guys, let's get you on out. 
One last look. Here we go. Don't knock my camera over. Don't knock it over. Kick, 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 kick. Come on out. Get everybody out. Everybody out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why how the hell am I going to get in there? Come on, guys. Go on out. Well, how long is it going to take you? Go on, water. You see the hole. Kick, kick. Get him a little scratch. You stay out of that, Tilly. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, kick, kick. There comes Waddles. There they come. They're like, what? What? Going out there. What? Yo, man, are we allowed to go out? I don't know. I'm gonna go out. You gonna go out, I'm gonna go out. Hey, man, come on, let's go. It's all clear, guys, come on. I ain't never seen this much room. What are they doing, Tilly? Look at Waddles. Come on, Waddles. Come on. Look at all this room you got, buddy. What? Are, what's up with them girls? Come on, girls. Tick, tick, tick. There we go. There we go. Oh, man, what's this green stuff? Oh man, this is poor. Oh, I left the rat trap in there. They won't hurt that. Come on, girls. Come on, you can get down there. Come on. Come on. Get down. Come on. <coughs> They're taking it easy. They're being cautious. That's their instinct. Uh-oh, they got some scratching to do. <coughs> I think if you guys could see Tilly, she's uh she's watching, she's enjoying it. <coughs> Come on guys. Here comes another one. Hey man, wait for me! I'm coming! Come on, Minerva. Get off your roof there. Come on. Let me go down there. There you go. Don't you be pecking at my tripod. You had enough already, Waddles? Oh, you're just testing the doorway. He says, guys, check it out. We got a duplex. You can go here, and you can go here. <laughs> Were you looking for your last hand there, Waddles? You gonna tell them? All right, guys, I'm coming in. I'm gonna get my camera. I'm gonna get my camera. Stay back, Tilly. growing grass right out the ground. Daddy doesn't even have to pick it for us. And I am going to build them a roost in here for out of two by fours. But it's mostly going to be to do what they're doing. Just walking around. 
Right, let me get out of here and we'll see what they do. And here we go, guys. I still got one in there. She's broody. That's the one that's low in the pecking order. They pick on her, so. But this ought to help with that because now there's going to be more room. She can get away from them a lot easier because he's not going to chase them far. Look at him go, man. That's most he's walked in his life. Actually, when he was still a baby at the ranch, he'd run every, he would follow me. It's one of the reasons I got him, he would follow me all over in the golf cart. As fast as he could go, man. It was funny. Nah, they're getting used to it now. That was the best scenario there, just cutting a little hole in so that that fence there kind of keeps its integrity. got it done ah, maybe now the bounty will be lifted off my head you think five hundred dollar reward to take my chickens all right i am going to go in and edit this and check out the video on the podcast channel i already put that up for the day remember this is for dogtober as i said on that podcast we are almost to three hundred dollars just for five days because they're two days behind today is the seventh so we've earned the rescue uh, almost three hundred dollars and i haven't even included the memberships so got a lot of memberships yesterday asked to what i appreciate that uh in the live stream i didn't see you do it the second time uh it's kind of hard to keep up with that chat and talk and and i hadn't done it in a year so it was like all new to me again so anyway, this is a success. We got the chickens uh, happy, and I think they're going to enjoy this. Thanks for watching, and watch some older videos. Hit the like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Happy trails. How you doing, buddy? You're right there by the door. You doing better? Let me look at you. Yeah, you need a few more days rest. Probably another week. You'll be better. At least you've been going outside. And this one, you can't get her out of that bed. Sitting there with your smile on your face the whole time. Yeah, you are. As big as you are, that, that bed makes you look little. That's even possible. Yeah, you know what I got for supper tonight? They didn't have any livers, so I got hamburger meat. We're going to fry up some burger, some more green beans. What else I got? Some chicken. We got all kinds of goodies, and you like it. Yeah, you ate your green beans. You ate everything yesterday. So did Waddle. Uh, Waddle. 
<laughs> Waldo. Waddles, Waldo. Why do I name why do I name you critters all so close? Alright. I'm gonna go and do my movie. You're the star and Waddles. He's better. He's a lot better than he was yesterday. He's just doing his normal lazy routine. Yeah, but he's he's resting. <laughs>